Hey friends, welcome to another unboxing and assembly video. Working on this uh, glass coffee table. All right, this has some uh, instructions there right on top. Don't seem to be too complicated. Looks like we got these little zip ties holding this together here. Okay, you might need some scissors to handle that. All right, there's that. I'll just use that as my trash bag, hopefully. And there's that. Okay, so put those off to the side. This here. Okay, take those out. Looks like we got four of those. And a little bag of, looks like a little bag of an Allen wrench there with some screws. Okay that out. Looks like this is going to be our glass portion here. All right. Handle with care. How's this going to come out of there? Maybe we'll just kind of Rip this open here if we can. There we are. More styrofoam. This is well protected in here. Good, good packaging. All right. Put this styrofoam it was good protectant, but unfortunately. It doesn't really compact and just kind of makes a mess with all these little uh, pinglings everywhere. Okay. We're almost done with that. Let's get that out of the way. And there's our glass piece. All right, so should be fairly simple. I'll just get this out of the way now. All right, got a little bit of a mess here. I'm just gonna clean that up real quick and then continue. Okay, now that that is done, Let's get rolling on our table here. Shouldn't be too difficult. We have uh, a total of eight screws here. There's four of those. Let's see, do I even need instructions? I don't think so. Let's see, those are gonna go there. These obviously are gonna go here and here, so these are gonna go on right there. So I'll just simply, I'm gonna just slide our screw right through here. And the hardest part is just gonna make sure that we're not cross-threaded putting these in there. So these should go in pretty much by hand. And if they're if you can't hand tighten it, they've probably cross threaded. So just want to be careful with that. Okay. And we'll just put in our other one. Just like that. This is going to be probably the easiest coffee table I've ever put together. Actually looks uh, pretty sweet here. Kind of a modern 
uh, look here. Okay, there's that other one. Just screw this one in as well. What I'm gonna do is just hand tighten all these in and then when you don't want to tighten them all the way before you get your other ones in so don't make the mistake of tightening these all the way because usually with something like this where you have a bunch or a few different ones and then you don't if you wound up tightening them too tight then you're not going to be able to get the last one in so with something like this, you just kind of, as you go, that one has a little bit of a dent there. I think I want that to be on the outside or the other side. So I'm just, just to make the table most presentable. I'm going to take this one out real quick and just rotate that down. I don't know if it got a little bit of a, a nick in it during uh, shipping or whatever. There we go. Just turn that down so you can't see it. And you might have a little bit of an impurity or imperfection on there. Just like that I did. And you can just rotate that out of the way. No problem at all. So no one's even going to know that's there unless they watch my video and listen to the what I was saying about it all right my friends we have one more to go and what a cool what a cool looking um, table this is oh that feels pretty sturdy actually okay where'd I put my allen key all right. Really? Where'd my Allen key go? Is it hiding somewhere? Ah, yes it is. It's hiding right there. All right. So here we go. Now I'm just gonna make sure this is level. Hold this nice and firmly. And just wanna make sure that this is nice and flat. Tighten that down. Okay. So this is metal, so you can do it pretty tight, but you don't need to go crazy and like start bending the, the ends, you know what I mean? Just tight enough so we're just fairly snug. Make sure that's squared off with the other one just so it looks neater. There we go. Because I think this ends are hollow here, which you don't want to do is pinch it, just tighten it so much that it starts pinching in uh, your metal frame there. So not necessary. This would be plenty strong without bending your frame in. And what I'm talking about is the end portion here would just basically be screwed in so tight that it like pushes this metal in right here. So that's not, not necessary, not called for, just snug enough to where it's going to be nice and firm there. I think this table is going to be fairly sturdy anyways. These are nice uh, metal screws going in there. This is all a metal frame, so I like that. I like the sturdiness of it. To help out, I'm just going to lift this one up a little bit. I think we're good. That's looking nice. How about that? That is stable. Okay, now we just drop our glass on there. We're not gonna obviously not drop it, but you know what I mean. Get our glass in there. It's a nice piece of tinted glass here. Just set it right down in there. I'm actually set that down on the top and then reach in from the bottom. Just lower that in there. And there you have it. It's got those little um, 
glass beads there it's resting on. Look at that. We are done, my friends. I think that has got to be the fastest assembly I've ever done. And look at that. I think it's actually pretty cool. It's not super tall or anything, but that is, is fine. It doesn't have to be. I'll have to clean it up just a hair. Wipe all the dust off of there from packaging. But I think it's pretty elegant um, little table there, my friends. Okay, look at that. I think it looks really actually elegant and it has a nice black frame that pretty much goes with everything. Goes with our carpet here. We got the, the black lines and also my flooring has black lines running around it. So kind of really just helps it pop with matches everything in the whole living room setup here. Um, sturdy and functional. I like that the edges are kind of rounded off. They're not super sharp if you have little ones around there. Um, the glass is pr basically protected by this metal frame. Um, seems really solid, actually. It's not wiggling around or anything. Uh, solid metal frame there, guys. I think it looks quite elegant. And I hope this is uh, helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching this unboxing and assembly. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Okay, friends. Well, just a quick update here before I get this video out. We opted just to put this as an end table between our two couches. It's plenty wide enough. So people sitting on both ends there could put like a coffee cup or whatever they wanted there and hold the lamp and everything else. So uh, it looks, I think it looks really good right there. It kind of completes that little corner. So I hope this is uh, helpful. So whether it's a coffee table or an end table, um, it's just a nice, a nice looking piece, minimalistic and stylish.